uh, junior girls class having completed their uh, practices warm-ups what a fair bow day today nice to have that little bit of cloud cover i tell you what uh, yesterday yeah pretty warm and uh, Friday was a nice one as well. The things have dried out beautifully, so just uh, keeps it in moderation here today. Good work for Garadiana. She gets the uh, a burst, gets the bus, gets the break out of the corner. Nice work from her straight away for the Radahi lady. Here she goes on that uh, bike talk. Guess, guess, uh, 85, uh, 394. Garadiana Hall chased along already by uh, Ruby Leach there on the number five. Great work from uh, Rubes, man. She knows how to put in some uh, good riding. So uh, there she goes, and uh, Ruby in flying good form as we uh, fire it up the mountain here at Barrett Road. For those of you looking online uh, here today, courtesy of uh, CTAS and our uh, Aon Insurance uh, video coverage, it's uh, a certainly a uh, demanding course because of that, uh, you'd almost call it altitude. Probably, I don't think there's a, a greater mountain course in New Zealand for uh, motocross, and it would beat uh, many from overseas, and there's some of them uh, European uh, tracks, of course, that have huge intensity. All right, here we are now with our uh, second group away. Second group, that is uh, for the uh, younger age group, 8 to 11 years, so the 12 to 16 is away first. Oh, and he's got it, and he's got it. Yes, yes, here she goes. So uh, nice work here. Look for Indy Allison, Indy Allison. Or maybe to uh, Hannah, Hannah Pierce, who's been picking up the victories. No, it's Indy going all the way on the City Honda CRF and flying good run through there. 81 for Hannah Pierce, looking out for Ella Mackey, the Hamilton... Uh, Girl there on that uh, KDM Outline Star Bell, 100% Red Star signs, uh, Motor X for Pirelli, uh, Grizz in style building supported uh, machine. Good. Oh, here we are, bit of carnage, bit of carnage, and uh, right here at the moment. So, caught up the bikes. Oh, wow, here we go. So, uh, uh, it was literally tied in a knot, literally tied in a knot at the moment. So, uh, the two ladies uh, coming together here. Really starting to uh, feel that one, but uh, luckily the, field, the rest of the field's gone through and it's a while before we uh, uh, get it here. So we'll go to the uh, uh, yellow. All right, so uh, 152 will uh, try and get away from this one. Uh, Maeve uh, Johnston, but that has uh, left the uh, 194 of Brianna uh, Thomason here at uh, trackside at the moment. Oh, there we go, finally getting the fire up there of the uh, CRF, the uh, pipe and train uh, bike, uh, five for uh, Ruby on the outside. Oh, thank you to these girls slowing up here very nicely indeed. What we call under the yellow, under the yellow. So yellow flag way with our uh, injured rider at uh, trackside. Oh, here she goes. What a brave little girl. Wants to get back. I think she wants to get back on her bike as well. So uh, uh, Brianna, well done. The medics were quickly there to ascertain uh, her degree of uh, injury. The uh, race incident uh, clear allows for an open track for the uh, Tulha Taranaki uh, sponsored 12 to 1685 CC class with our uh, uh, Rockworks uh, younger uh, 8 to 11 years uh, lineup. I'm just uh, trying to see uh, Brianna that she can uh, get away so she uh, hasn't yet done a full lap as the officials uh, help to get her bike to uh, trackside and line her up. It's uh, Sometimes it's referred to as outside assistance, but it is allowed from the point of view of as long as there's no benefit to be gained by it. And there certainly hasn't been any benefit because Brianna, unfortunately, has been here now for quite some time. So here we go with our junior women's uh, racing. And uh, uh, all on board for some uh, uh, great results. Uh, Karadiana still out there on the uh, 394 bike, in a five. Ruby uh, Leach from uh, Millie Glasgow there on uh, 299. So for uh, uh, Millie then to be uh, the uh, next uh, place, that's your third for the uh, Waitoki Girl on the P1 uh, Motorcycle Trends, Glasgow contractors, counter coaching, supported KDM 85, 
But there we are, back already to our uh, front run of 394. The great Karadiana Horn. Unfortunately, Karadiana had uh, uh, two mechanical hiccups last weekend in Australia. Problems completely outside her control. She had been the number one qualifier. She was the number one in getting hole shots, but unfortunately couldn't get the uh, consistent results for it. So uh, uh, look at this lady, the uh, uh, new hope in the women's motocross in New Zealand. 394 Karadiana Horn. The camera shot at the moment on the number five as she launches up and over the top for uh, Ruby uh, Leach, the young Auckland lady on the Empire Excavations, uh, Little Miss Enchanted uh, uh, AES uh, iPhone Lubricants, uh, a Gas Gas 85. So Ruby, Ruby in a great form there. The uh, AES, by the way, Auckland Engineering Supplies, super sponsor of the North Harbour Mini Motocross Club and their uh, fabulous uh, big event each year called King of the North. The exceptional event, uh, 200 entries uh, earlier this year, 200, unbelievable what they've done to uh, establish that event as the premier mini focused event in New Zealand, having junior support racing but uh, focused on mini motocross and it is just beautiful, so World Harbour Mini take a bow, uh, thoroughly enjoy that event each year. We uh, uh, headed it uh, later on because of the normal time it was held is around uh, 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 the uh, COVID lockdown, so it uh, moved out to become an uh, uh, early winter event and uh, we had an absolutely exceptional day at uh, uh, Helensville, in fact, uh, for that event uh, earlier this year. So uh, bring it on for uh, more great motocross to come with uh, North Harbour Minis. North Harbour Minis awarded as uh, MNZ's number one club around uh, five or six years ago for some uh, great work they did in promoting our sport. So. Uh, great to see that uh, it has only grown and grown from here. So our two classes, so your younger 8 to 11s and the uh, older 12 to 16, all these uh, ladies uh, on uh, up to uh, 85 cc uh, two strokes or 150 cc four stroke motorcycles. And you've even got uh, one, one of our girls out there uh, on the uh, little 65. So uh, amazing what they want to do. So uh, check it out. It's uh, Cody McDermott from Dargaville on the CA Motorcycles Birkenhead Engineering supported uh, KTM so well done so now that they've, they've got away with their uh, split start effectively you, you look at them in the race and you think well they just look like they're all the same but they are clearly split back in those classes the best of the uh, uh, 8 to 11s at the moment I think is Ella I uh, don't think it's Hannah Hannah's been the front runner of that class uh, throughout the event so uh, keen just to watch we'll uh, go for an, an MXT uh, update and uh, Listen down to our 8 to 11. You, 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 no, it's still Indy. Sorry, my apologies. Indy. Indy is there. Indy. Allison, second place to Ella Mackey. And the third then to uh, Hannah Paris. So uh, well done to Indy. Man, she's got that City Honda fired up and uh, certainly launching herself uh, up and over the top of the best of them at the moment. So uh, good work, good work out there. as we uh, power our way up the hill here for some uh, more uh, great riding from our uh, women uh, competitors. It's uh, Bailey Newbold out of uh, Featherston on the uh, Tanui Farms of Martinborough supported Gas Gas 85. And you're going to hear that uh, 150 firing up out there in the hands of uh, Indy. Man, she will love the chance of a victory here and getting some points. She's been uh, uh, playing second fiddle to the uh, racing of uh, Hannah through uh, the earlier events and just getting this one will uh, even the score a little bit. This of course for this class is their fourth moto, their fourth moto. They had uh, one on Friday, two yesterday and they've got a further two today so this is their fourth one of the five so there's still another one after this to define the championship. This is our penultimate race of the round, we've only got the uh, women's uh, uh, Bigger bike capacity to go, our older 12 to 16, 125 cc slash 254 stroke. And then after that, we'll be into the uh, final round for all of our classes. Nine races in all per round, so we've been uh, going right through them consecutively over the weekend. There we are, 394, heading all the way again for the mighty Karaitiana. Well, 152 as uh, Maeve Johnston powers away up the hill. 
Young lady all the way from Christchurch, shout out to her family. Thank you for bringing her all this way. No substitute for experience. Let's hope she's made some new friends this weekend. Friends for life in junior motocross. Man, oh man, how many times have we seen it over the years? Uh, people meeting other people from around the country. They end up by uh, putting together and then uh, uh, being able to talk to other families and then think of all, uh, you know, if you travel into our part of the country, uh, come and stay. So it encourages people to move around. And uh, we've had uh, plenty of North Island and uh, South Island uh, friendships uh, made. Uh, for some great years of junior motocross. It's really part of the whole thing. If you, if you get to see any of the uh, uh, shots of the uh, pit area, it's uh, like a tent city down here with uh, camper vans and uh, trailers and uh, tents, uh, pop-ups, easy-ups, all of them around. So it really does add to the flavour of these some magnificent event. New Zealand juniors been going officially since 1981. Uh, 1981, the first ever official New Zealand Junior Champs, so that had been running unofficially and it's built up through 1978, 79 and 80, and then that was uh, officially uh, authorised by what was in the NZACU Autocycle Union, and the first one held in Marlborough back in that 1981, so a uh, bit of history through there. Along the way through that 78, 79 and 80, there was still some uh, very good racing and good championships. So uh, uh, Wellington Junior Motocross School was the dominant uh, club in the country. It was, it was a specialist uh, junior motocross and they used to hold their uh, events at uh, Pawa Tahanui uh, in that uh, beautiful uh, Plymouth and uh, Porirua Harbour region. So uh, great history behind our sport from those uh, early years. The second ever New Zealand Juniors held at uh, Taikaria Motocross uh, Park at, in the mighty Manawatu in 1982 and 1983. We were in uh, Wonganui in 1984 for the first time in uh, Canterbury in uh, 1985 and the list goes on. And we've uh, been all the way uh, through some uh, great years, over 40 years of uh, New Zealand junior motocross. So pretty special to see. Well, every class gets a practice at the beginning of every day. Back on Friday, they all got a decent session for practice qualifying. It was looking for the rider who was the fastest in each group. So the uh, MXT, electronic uh, lap scoring, acknowledged their times. And uh, so the uh, fastest rider got the first pick in the start gate. Second fastest rider got second pick in the start gate. It wasn't that you drew for gate one or gate two or gate three. You might decide that uh, you want gate five to be a little bit out from the inside line. So you can... Uh, being the uh, winner, you could say, I want gate number five, and uh, the rest of the riders went on board and uh, chose their gates in the respective order in which they qualified. And then if we've uh, come, that's a qualifying sticks for all three days, and then we've uh, come to each day with having a uh, practice session. Uh, three laps yesterday, but two today. Of course, the track hasn't changed, so they know exactly where to go. It's just a refamiliarisation. It's uh, sometimes what we call warm the body and warm the bike. So it's just literally a warm-up session that's done. Speaking about uh, warm-ups, uh, congratulations to that uh, uh, awesome uh, uh, Black Ferns last night. That was uh, just incredible. So uh, well done in the rugby. Wow. To see uh, them uh, down by so many points in early stages yet to fight back and uh, beat Australia it was incredible. And some other very good games there as well. So the Garden have beaten away to a great start in the uh, World Women's uh, Cup being uh, staged here in New Zealand uh, over these next few weeks. All the games are held at the weekends, so we have to follow them. And if it's anything like uh, yesterday, with a triple header at Eden Park and an almost uh, sellout capacity, or they, they were saying almost sellout. I'm unsure. Probably by the time in the end, it got to be a sellout. All right, here we go, we go, we go. Looking out for it, looking out for it. Uh, white flag, white flag, but not long now before the checkered, the uh, uh, tape uh, just uh, breaking off down there. So uh, white flag for these uh, riders. And there we are, checkered flag time, she has done it, so well done, 394, the incredible Karakiana Horn uh, taking the show once again, she's won every one of them for uh, uh, that uh, older group, and they're keen just to see now for the uh, younger group, because uh, that had been a, uh, uh, an upset uh, poised to happen, so we'll see what's happened late in the uh, Rocksworks racing, the 8 to 11 is passed, uh, in the uh, Allison, second now for Hannah, who has moved past uh, Ella, Ella's gone back to third, so uh, indeed she got the whole shot, she got away Hannah tried to get her, Hannah then had the mistakes over, then had to uh, 
dropped to third place, but it's got away back to second. So uh, looking out for uh, Indy to uh, get first place. Indy Allison, now to the mighty uh, man number two on the uh, City Honda Palms North, Kims NZ, uh, A. Allison uh, Construction Nutrition Systems, uh, Robo MX Coaching. You're going to hear from her uh, one of, uh, I think, only two uh, 154 strokes out there. Here we go with Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. So uh, well done in the no footer over the jump as well for Ruby Leach for Auckland, who gets uh, second in the older 12 to 16 years class. And there we go with the uh, 41 as well out there. And there's still a glimpse around the track, still looking out for. Our uh, little lady Indy. Oh, the intelligence of those riders using that outside line coming down here through the dent uh, contracting uh, corner. That is an excellent part of the track. And uh, here we go. Here's the 150. So uh, lined up here at the moment for Indy. Here she comes, looking for glory here in the Rockworks sponsored uh, 8 to 11 years class. Nice work, nice work. Here she goes. Out of one, uh, flying big jump over the finish. So well done. The victory there to uh, Indy, having her uh, first of the weekend in the Rockwork sponsored uh, 8 to 11 junior women's uh, class 85cc 150 for uh, dual capacity, either two stroke or four stroke. So there we have it. That's the uh, win and our uh, placings in each of those uh, groups. So in fact, the overall for the 12 to 16 in the hands of uh, Karadiana, Ruby and Miller. And for that uh, younger 8 to 11s with uh, Indy ahead of Hannah and Ella.